I have made this video before a couple of years ago, but this is an updated version because the last video was sort of complicated. So let's just get started. Now, the video I'm talking about is the path following or following path video. In the first one I did, it was a little bit complicated, right? So let me just get right into the video and I'll show you as we go. Okay, here we have this cool photo that we're gonna use as a base and it's by Andy Vu. I found it on Pixels. I have no idea who that is, but this is a great picture. So if you wanna check out his work, go to pixel.com and then check out his profile. Now in this case, we're gonna use this talking head that I have here, which is, I used these in a couple of videos where I had I didn't have a camera, so I just put my talking head at the end, so it was not just an empty screen. But now I have this camera, so here we are. Usually you would be working in Fusion, but in this case, since we have this image here, you can actually just go into this image, or you can go to the effects and add an adjustment clip. Now the thing with the adjustment clips usually is that you wanna grab these here, and you're gonna add the name, which is gonna be path, just like that. And then we're gonna replace this one because of the way the keyframes show up when you open this up. And let's just get rid of the second screen. So we're gonna click this button right there to make these the main screen. Now, in the first tutorial that I did, I think I had like a couple of different transform nodes and then one had to connect to the other one and then this other one had to do this and that. So that was too complicated. Let me just show you right away. First, we have the picture of the head here that's gonna be traveling through this space. And we're gonna press Ctrl and Spacebar and we're gonna add a transform. Okay, here we have this head and we're gonna create our path on this transform node. So in order to do these, uh, we can actually make these smaller if you want. The only thing we have to do is right click here where it's center and then we're gonna create the path. That by default is going to create that first uh, point where the path is going to start. And you're not going to be able to add new points because you don't have these options that I did. So go and click this pen tool right here, the click a pen tool. And now you can go and draw your path. Like that. Now if we go to the modifier sections, then we can get rid of this keyframe. And by just moving these around, our object is going to be following the path. Now, if we go from zero to whatever number here, uh, keyframe, that's going to be going like that. But it's a little bit too sharp. So what you want to do is, unless you want it to be like that, is you want to select everything and then you can press these right here, smooth. So the movement is a little bit smoother right here like that. And of course, this movement is just as an example. A little quick interruption. So if you are a creator or you work with creators, I am creating a little bundle that is going to be specifically focusing on tools and stuff that you might use as a creator, specifically for YouTube or probably any other social media. I am going to be making a pre-sale or like a pre-order page where the price is going to be lower than when it launches. So there's going to be more details in the link in the description. So let's go back to the tutorial. You can also go to the spline tool if you want to adjust the speed in which it moves. Select everything by pressing Ctrl A and then press F and that's going to ease them in and out. So it's going to come in fast then slow down as it goes all the way out. Now another thing you want to take into account is that if you adjust the size in these here in the tool section then only the object itself is going to change sizes. Now, if you go to the modifiers and you adjust this size option, the whole path is going to become smaller, right? So if you want, you can actually go to the tools and add keyframes here. Or as I'd like to do is if I'm going to animate the size of these, for example, if we want to make these become smaller as it's further away from the screen and then become bigger as it, as it gets closer, what I usually like to do is I would add another transform here before that. Why before? Because if you add it afterwards, then the whole path might also be affected like this. You see, if we add it before, then only the object. Same principle as the one we I just showed you here. Okay, so if in this case, the only thing you have to do is you can actually press Ctrl to select both of them so that you're also seeing the path so that you know when it's going to become smaller. So we can create the first key from right here. Then go all the way here, make these smaller as it becomes closer to these right here. 
and make it bigger and so on of course now this is all up to you actually so i'm just playing around in this case like that it's a little bit too fast so if you want to make if you want to change the speed of these you press ctrl a in your spline tool and grab this shape box and then you can just drag these so it's going to take a lot more keyframes for the whole thing to happen so that is it for this video i hope that this new version of the tutorial helps you out and improves your workflow